starting with a powerful opening prayer breakfast with remarks by a religious leader. Fix the deed so that it would last a long time. The convention officially opened in Baltimore, Maryland at the Renaissance Harbor Place Hotel. Followed by remarks from political personalities and an appearance by a media personality. It was completed on the first day with an evening boat tour with dinner while viewing Baltimore's beautiful historic Inner Harbor. Informational sessions were abundant from various experts that produced a wealth of information. But all of you out here are small business people, right? Hey, you probably be pretty good at this. People go to the LinkedIn search engine today. They trust LinkedIn to search for. The one thing I'm taking away from this convention is the networking opportunities that I had with various real tists from all over the country. I would say the one thing to take away from this convention was the fact that Women's Council brings great unity. And I thought the education was phenomenal. I thought the value, the focus on the business aspect and growing your business and social media, I thought it was great. The most important thing I learned was that the most important person a home buyer can hire is an educated real estate agent. The most important thing I got from this conference is how organized it is and how smooth it ran and how we were able to empower the members to come away with a great educational experience so they got value for their dollars. I think the one thing that I could take away from this year's conference is full disclosure and sharing. I think the biggest thing that uh, I get out of the conference, I think this is my sixth one, is the people here are willing to share their ideas and their successes and you can take that back into your community and use them there. For those who desire physical fitness was also offered. We must be physically fit as well as financially and mentally fit. A luncheon was held on that Monday to acknowledge the past presidents. And we again uh, thank you for coming to our luncheon. We pause to celebrate and honor our past presidents. We have embraced hard working, dedicated presidents. NARAP also acknowledged the top performers at a special observance. The importance of having relationships with chambers of commerce across the country is twofold. If you look at the number one concern across the country for African Americans, it's unemployment. If you look at the number of African American owned businesses, currently we have 1.9 million African American owned businesses and there's 1.9 million unemployed African Americans. Simple math says that if I can grow my small firms to hire one additional employee, I can eliminate unemployment across the country. So relationships like this that we have with other nonprofits, other business organizations, other black professional organizations allows us to carry that message across the country. Home ownership is one of the ways, and statistics support this, that home ownership is one of the ways that people are able to build wealth that can be sustained over generations. In Maryland, we have a, the organization uh, that's called Maryland Affordable Housing Coalition. They come out once a year, I believe it's February. Our housing, uh, in terms of those purchasing housing, has gone down. Uh, I think there are many factors in terms of that. Uh, the, you know, the economy and uh, other priorities that prevent um, African Americans going that route. 
and I've been in recent conversations I've seen people who who get close to losing their housing or going back to renting and we need to uh, reverse that trend but there does appear now to be to at least uh, be some good news according to the Obama's administration's June housing scorecard the housing market nationally uh, has continued to show, show signs of progress as sales of new and existing homes continue to rise. The direction I'd offer Name is keep doing what you're doing, which is you're building a great foundation at this point to engage in with the policymakers at the state, local, and federal level as to what the future of the mortgage market is going to look like. It was a very informative meeting. Learned a lot about how to build my brand. I just came out of a class, a wonderful class about the seven essentials to client relationships. Talked about how the real estate agent is more than just a real estate professional. My assessment at this conference, and one of the things that I like about this conference, is that it's focusing on the homeowners and solutions to helping our homeowners stay in the homes. Yes, I have benefited from the workshops. The convention concluded with a black tie gala. During the gala, NARAB's attorney, Gerald Neal, presided over the swearing in of the new officers for NARAB. I do hereby proclaim you duly and officially installed to the office to which you have been elected. Congratulations. We encourage you to register now for the Midwinter Conference to be held in Tampa, Florida at the Grand Hyatt from February the 19th through the 23rd, 2015. For more information, please go to www.narab.com.